a new age has begun, an age in which I record more of this game. I really should do two of these. We'll see if I actually feel like that after doing the first one. So, last time we uh, went into Sasha's mind and uh, dealt with uh, Cronenberg, basically. And uh, he's like, hey, we should go back into your mind. And I'm like, no, let's go dick around with other stuff. So, first I'm going to uh, buy this thing because I've been wanting it for a while. Uh, not because it's useful, but because I just kind of need it for 100%. Uh, yeah. Now that I have basically no money left, um, what is this thing doing again? Uh, shit, I don't know what the info button is. Okay. I like how I actually can use the default controls. I don't have to use the controller. Anyway, yeah, that's, I'll get that at some point. How many of these do I need? I'll just buy a few of them anyway. Let's just keep mashing. Because I will eventually need a bunch of these, I might as well get them now. I think just four is probably fine, I don't know. So anyway, now that we've uh, collected more random bullshit, time to uh, go get more random bullshit, because we need to go back to uh, ancient, a ancient Crawler's Place. That, that's definitely his name. Because uh, as the glowing purple icon on the right is indicating he has something for me, and I don't actually remember what it is. And as usual, I also don't ever remember where the stump is. It's almost like when you don't play a game for a few weeks, you forget everything about it. It hasn't quite been a month. The last one looked like it was uh, April 23rd, I think. This one is May 14th. And as usual, my... Uh... Okay, hold on. What we got? I remember this one being very situational. So yeah, um, as usual, there's not really much of a reason why there was a delay, as much as it is just kind of I didn't feel like doing any last week. I'm like, I'm caught up, I can wait a week. And now here it is, where I'm basically behind by two. Okay, do I have it bound to a button that exists? Let's see. Now, grab that trash can with your mind and hold it until I tell you to let go. Yes. Now, when you've chosen your destination... I mean, you've got to do it. Throw it. Oh, good oh. Throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through... Hey, I've been thinking about that. What that Sorry, I didn't mean to skip the dialogue, but whatever. What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. The phrase die in water just sounds weird. I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops. Are you sure you don't want me to hit you again? He doesn't even react. Okay, no, he kind of does. Actually, hold on. Was that because I hit him, or was it just because I missed? <laughs> no, he doesn't care. Anyway. Just, uh, just for the record, this is not a skill I will ever need. It might actually be a skill that I need. I don't remember. I don't think I've, I don't think there's ever a point where you have to throw stuff through hoops specifically. I already did that, and you said, "Oh, be careful now." Uh, yes. Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Somehow. Smash him on the head with that handy trash can. Come on. Use to this is this is not a skill you will ever use. Just <laughs> I, like I don't know. There there might be a case where it's useful, but it's Looks like the trash awkward enough to like. Next yeah. lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. I will uh I will try to make it a point to use it sometimes. Immediately never uses it. 
Yeah, so. What are my actual buttons for this again? I've got... Okay. My most useful one is the just shooting, so I'm going to have that on right trigger, and then I have uh, this here, I guess, and sure. Did I, did I fuck up? Why is this map to two, what the fuck? I'm pressing the jump button, and it's mapping it to this. That's, that's weird. I don't get that. Sure, whatever. Let's just get out of this menu, if I can. How the fuck do I get out of this menu? Oh my god, please. Okay. It's really weird having the controls on the screen saying one thing and having a map to another, and as I said that sentence, I realized that it shouldn't be because that's literally just the case with every single game that I would emulate, but I usually emulate games that I already kind of know what the buttons map to, and in this one I don't, so it's just a little weird. Anyway, where's the frickin' stump? Am I blind? I, I think I might be blind. Where the hell is the stump? Oh my god. Okay, it's over here. <laughs> if there wasn't all this green shit in the way... Where? So, yeah. I guess I'll just go ahead and make progress here. I could do some more diddling about in the uh, overworld and finding cards and shit, but you know, there'll be time for that when I'm dead. Just the, uh, yeah. Okay. Time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. Hey, I swallowed my gum. That's the spirit. Alrighty. I don't actually remember much of this upcoming level. Is it here? Yeah. See, uh, what you did there was, uh, th that was a jump. Why is there just immediately a figment here? I thought I've cleared this place out. Like, the beginning of it, at least. Alright, I need to probably not, uh, bother myself with collecting every little tiny thing. Yeah, so this is supposed to be the inside of Raz's mind. Um, we'll be seeing some, uh, various circus-related crap eventually. Uh, there's also a bunch of meat for some reason. Uh, what, what did he call this? Like a strange bunny-like animal? It's like the apple-shaped Pokemon food. Oh, hello. You're a thing. Um, okay, so, um, okay, never mind, I'm stupid. I was about to say, I thought I mapped this to the, uh, trigger, but it was the wrong one. Also, that thing said, uh, Dream Bunny, and now all I can think of is that freaking awful thing that, uh, Brutal Moose reviewed. It was like the VHS tape that nobody in the world other than him had ever seen. And we've got more figments that I'm missing, and collectibles that are actively running away from me. Okay. Is there a shortcut to take this thing out? I don't remember. So yeah, that's what that thing does. It, it grabs a thing, and then you put it away. It is never useful in any other context. Um, it has basically no reason to exist, other than to just add an extra thing to collect, but... I mean, that's fine, I guess. What is this thing? It's, okay, that's just a root. I thought it looked like... I don't know what I thought it looked like. A big head of some sort. Can we make the baggage shut up? I'm guessing I don't have the tag for it. Also, I can't actually tell where it is. Oh, never mind. It's just right here. Oh, I did have the tag for it. Apparently, I uh, collected more stuff last time than I realized. So are we a fan of these uh, figments that are just flying around all willy-nilly yet? Because they're, they're real good. I 
This place is very dark. Also, I'm apparently still holding the cobweb duster. I guess there's no reason not to be. It's not really harming me in any way. But... Please. Oh my god, it just fucking went through a wall. Why? Why would you ever do this? Please? Okay. Hopefully I got all of them. If not, I'll worry about it later. Did they just say cut it out? I think last time I played this, I was like, hey, if people have uh, subjects for me to randomly go into tangents on, then uh, let me know. And if they gave me any, I don't remember what they were because it's been too long now. So instead, we'll just talk about uh, diplomacy. Oh my god, I fucking walked right through that thing. Please. I don't know. I've uh, definitely come to realize that I am usually very unmotivated. This is uh, of no surprise to anybody, least of all myself, but um, it's kind of just become more evident lately because I've switched from my schedule of norm like basically a normal work schedule of five days a week to just three days a week, and with all this extra time, just look at all this extra stuff I could be doing, and I just kind of don't. It's probably not a good personality trait of mine, just, just saying. Okay, I don't know if I can get to anything up here. I have fallen off of this, like, a good three times now. There's, like, a vine that I feel like I should be able to grab, but maybe not. Maybe I have to jump all the way towards that, like, weird stick thing. Okay, hold on. Let me try. Come on, get a good jump. And no, we can't even double jump off of that, can we? That might take an ability I don't have yet. Either that or I'm just blind or I'm missing the thing that I need to land on. Uh oh, good. Okay, on the upside, um, I, I I hate to even say this out loud because if I uh, if I don't follow through with it, then everyone's gonna like have expectations that were then shattered. But uh, there is a possibility I might actually be returning to Pokemon Crystal soon. I say this because I uh, basically have just not really ever wanted to continue with that, and it's not because of the game itself. And it's also not necessarily because of the editing, because, like, people have suggested, um, like, why don't you just do it without doing the Pokemon bios, because those take so long. Those don't help, but they're not the problem. The problem is mainly just me trying to figure out pacing and, like, what to talk about during the game, because now that I've completed it, and it's just the Kanto stuff, it's more or less just kind of wander around and take care of a bunch of random shit without any real direction to it. And so it's like, I just, I, I haven't really, I haven't really felt motivated to actually go back and do that, but uh, I came to the conclusion that uh, if I was not the only one commentating over it, I would probably feel a little bit better about actually doing it, so I will uh, once again be forcing letters upon the world. I'm sure everyone will be fine with that. I say that half sarcastically, but no, I, I haven't actually gotten any complaints about it. And if you do, then, you know, you can just kind of fuck off. But, I don't know. So far, she hasn't watched any of these videos. When she does, it'll be like, oh, hello, I'm being talked about. Wait. 
So, uh, meanwhile, I've been traveling through a very, uh, straight path with, uh, very little of interest and in backtracking 90 times through it because I am overly concerned about missing stuff. Can we... Okay. I really should just kind of get into the mindset of I'm going to miss stuff, so I'll just have to do, like, a second run through the area anyway, but... Man, that's that, that, that shit's whack. I don't want to do that. So instead, I'll complain yet again about taxes and no. Where the hell did you come from? These running uh, brain duck things are. Kind of cramping my style a little bit because they keep showing up with little ex like with no warning, and then they just start going through a bunch of walls and shit. Okay, that thing looked like a Hollow Knight character, but that might there's a slight chance that I might be saying that because I have been having that game on my mind constantly for like the past month, and I could go into more about that, but that's just gonna be rambling about the same kind of crap that I've been rambling about non-stop in, like, streams and stuff recently, so, eh. I will mention that, um, I have finally, like, gotten... I, I don't know how to work. It's like, I technically did beat the game, like, last week, but it's just the... Okay, there was a figment back here, right? I saw one flying around, and I don't think I got it. Um... Yeah, there it is. Uh, please. Please, I beg you. Okay. Yeah, it's like I, I got the worst ending um, on purpose. Because you can always go back and get other ones. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this. I can't do anything with this, but I remember this. So in the meantime, I've just kind of been working on other objectives. Uh, for anybody who knows the game... Oh, hold on. to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my I love Dogen. He's just he's so I'm a dentist. Calm about everything. I don't know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep, mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind. But I don't wanna sh -sh 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 -sh. No, This guy's mouth goes way too far back on his face. Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. But only after I collect all this bullshit. There's no time to explain it all. However, I do have time to do all this. Okay, so here's my first question. Why is Dogen and this weird dentist dude that I actually legitimately do forget the name of, um, why are they just in my brain? Because that, that's where I am, right? Like, this isn't a physical place that people can be. Okay. What is projection to- oh, that's extra lives, that's right. So yeah, Dogen, you're gonna have to hold on for a little bit, because there's various collectibles. Such as... The Mental Vault. Which I think we've already seen one of Raz's earlier, but I guess this is another one. Oh. Okay. Eggs! I'm alive! I'm born! Is this what air tastes like? Uh oh. Hello, fish. What? Okay, um, 
I don't remember this one. I'm not sure what the hell that was. What the hell was that? <laughs> Thank you. Crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ugh, why did I buy the cheap brain tumbler? Good question. Okay, so, um... I, again, don't remember every detail of the plot of this game. I am not sure what the fuck that was. I know, kind of, like, the greater concept of what's going on in here, but I don't want to say it yet for spoiler reasons. I'm not sure what the deal is with, with that particular memory, though. That was weird. Something about the way that Raz just said what the hell was that it was, uh... I, I found that amusing. There's no way to get any higher. You must use your levitation power. I don't know how to levitate. Okay. Just like that, we're, we're immediately booted out. Hey. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Well, I know what this means. We're, uh, we're in for a real groovy level, I'll tell you that much. So, eh, I could probably use the uh, stump to leave, but... Let's gather some random bullshit along the way. I'm almost at level 30, and I think there was a skill I can get at level 30, so... If I can find any random collectibles along the way, that might be helpful. I think this part of the map had a, uh... Okay, well, there's a card over there. Let me try and keep an eye on that so I can figure out how to get over there. The cards don't... Oh, hello. Hey, Lily. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz. I hate to burst your bubble, but the psychonauts are not what they used to be. Times have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several fishy things that need psychic investigating. Such so as weird mature. brain dream yes, things. What are you gonna just shut up and kiss Oh, me? hello. Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. My so embarrassing. Hmm. I, yeah, I also didn't remember that I had the ability to read, read minds. Okay. Was I saying words? I was probably saying words. Words are usually things worth saying. This was uh, everybody's favorite part of the last video, was the non-stop uh, clicking. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Find him yet? Well, I tracked over <coughs> into the forest. Okay. His footprints just disappeared. Really? Yeah, and I tried to tag Elka, but she punched me. I saw Milka run into this cave, so all I have to do now is wait. Why don't you just run in there? Never follow a snake into its hole, Raz. That is the code of the Bakus, the code of the hunter. This is probably my favorite character in the game still. He has the fucking best voice. Okay, so, yeah, let's not worry about collecting a bunch of arrowheads now. I actually don't know if I need that many. I, I need, like, 400 to get that mental magnet or whatever it was. Oh, shit, hold on. Can I use the telekinesis on this? Is this button? No, I think I need. I think I need invisibility for this one. By the way, spoilers. There's invisibility. Okay, there was a card up on a branch. I would like to get that. This game is just constant, constantness. Yeah, I'll be working on that at some point. Um, 
The thing is, even if I get this card, it's not going to immediately help me because I don't think those level you up. I think you have to, like, attach those to the core and then put them in the thing. But where the hell even was that? I was trying to keep an eye on it, and then frickin' Lily was like, hey, by the way, cutscene. I like just pressing the button to collect arrowhead, arrowheads, and then suddenly Raz starts talking to birds. And now I will tell a very boring story about a dream I had that involved a bird. It was not a hadoo, though. I will not actually tell the story. I will now immediately tell the story. Except it wasn't a story. The story, the dream was there was a bird. That was, no, there, there was like a bird that I found that looked injured. And I was like, I will try to help this bird. And then I tried to help the bird and I was not completely successful. And then that was it. Okay, I, I th oh wait, hey, there's something. That was not the card I was looking for, but I'll take it. I would like to get level 30 before I go into the next level, because that would prevent a lot of backtracking, most likely, even though I don't... Oh my god, please. I don't actually know what you get from level 30, but it'll probably be good. Also, I distinctly remember the bird from the dream uh, changing at one point, because when I went to pick it up, it was like... It, it was kind of like a light, like, cream color almost, and it was very fluffy. And then towards the end of the dream, it just kind of became, like, black. And I actually did make a note of that, like, during the dream itself. I'm like, why did the bird change? It's weird. <sighs> okay, if I'm going to be wandering, I should probably take this out. Because, uh, I may not need a ton of these, but it doesn't hurt to have more. Okay, what's it picking up on? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Immediately starts making more noise. No, I don't It's like, I, I, I did get comments about the clicking. And there's not really a whole lot I can do about that, because it, it, it's just, it's gonna pick up the the controller noises. That's just kind of unavoidable. Like if the only way that I could prevent that is uh, if I had a totally different microphone that is like m more sensitive and or less sensitive rather. Okay, did the did the dowsing rod just fucking break? What the hell happened to it? It got like frozen. That was weird. Uh, how many cards do you need to get a level? It's eight or nine. There's another one over there. I don't even know what. Hey, guess I'm 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 guessing that uh, I can't actually be late. Thankfully, J just putting that out there. Okay, how? What do I get over to that one? Can I do that without actually having the levitate ability? Something something Pokemon reference because levitate ability. Oh, hold on, there's actually just a whole core over there. That's an instant level on its own. Please get up the hill, Raz. Raz, get up the hill. I uh, I can't get levitate soon enough. Okay. Now, if I'm going to be going down to Ford anyway, I should probably try to get this. I don't know if I can make this jump, though. Ugh. That's really annoying. That's just barely out of reach. There's probably a way that I can get that. Hold on, there's more cards over here. Man, there's freaking cards all over the place. Is this just a section of the map I've never explored? I actually don't even know what area this is. Oh, hi, bear. They just, uh, completely disregard you and keep going, which actually seems to be working out pretty well for me. Okay, 
Okay, maybe not. Or maybe so. Yeah, what part of the map am I in? I can't really check. Get off the rail, Raz. 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 Get off the rail. Did I get the card? Fucking bear, please. And we're down. <laughs> this this overworld is like I'm trying to think the last time I've seen anything that lets me get sidetracked as often as this. And the first thing that comes to mind is like nuts and bolts. Where you're trying to go somewhere and it's like, oh by the way, there's like eighteen million things you can do along the way if you want to. Where the fuck was that cave? Man, how am I this lost? How am I this bad at this game? Now there's just an egg over there. There's a pebble that's floating for some reason. Um, okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Doesn't look like that's gonna make it. I don't know why I would want to do that, but it's here. It seems like the happening thing to do. I'm glad this thing doesn't like bounce. Yeah, that's not gonna hit it. Oh well. Oh, wandering. Okay. Wasn't I saying something about Hollow Knight at one point? I, I was gonna mention that like I am trying to do almost everything in that game, but there's a lot of things in it that are just completely fucking unreasonable. Mainly the, uh... Imbroglia. I, how the fuck do I always forget the name? What, 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 what are they called? What the hell are the boss rushes called? How do I forget the name of them every single time? It's weird. There's just... There's this gap in my vocabulary that I just absolutely cannot remember this name. It's not the Colosseum, it's the other thing. The one in, like, the... God Home, or whatever it is. Oh my god, this is gonna fucking piss me off. There's the cave. Anyway, I'm gonna go through this cave again to get those items, and then we're gonna actually progress, because this is getting stupid. Does it start with a P? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying... I, I need to look up what this fucking word is. Pantheon. For fuck's sake. Why can I not remember that word? I kept wanting to say Paladin. And I'm like, it's obviously not that. Like, that's not even close to correct. But... Oh, you actually can kill the bear. Okay, good to know. Alright, at long last, I have successfully collected an card. Oh god, please. Oh god, please. Please. Please, go back. I beg you. Okay. Now again. I might be able to get this egg. Alright. At long, long last, we might be able to move on, because I am satisfied with my amount of random bullshit wandering. Where the fuck am I, though? Where's the map? Okay, I am somewhere. I need to be somewhere else. I will vaguely go towards the left of the way that I'm facing now, around the lake. That, that might help. It probably won't actually help. I'm so garbage at navigating. But yeah, so if uh, if you have played Hollow Knight, then you know the the pains of the pantheons. If you haven't, then let me uh, let me describe a little bit of their uh, their wonder. So basically, there's uh, four boss rushes that each contain ten bosses. And then there's a fifth one, which is, like, fucking 50. It's the other four plus some other stuff. And it's uh, unclear 
how you're really ever meant to be able to do this, but people do it anyway. But the, uh, so like last night I actually did beat the first three. There's, uh, some that are trivial, some that are very difficult, some that are a matter of opinion. I happen to find the Hive Knight to actually be ridiculously hard to beat, even though it shouldn't be. But, uh, so I did the first three. I'm not even going to attempt the fourth yet. The fifth one just sounds like one of the worst things that you could ever do in a video game, just in general. Wait, why did I even come back here? What am I fucking doing? Oh my god. I'm not paying attention at all. Okay, let's go to the stump. But yeah, each one of the boss rushes also has a challenge condition you can do, where it's like... You can either do it with limited health, or, like, none of the, um, charms you have equipped, that kind of stuff, and you have to clear these in order to get, like, this other optional thing, which doesn't even count towards, uh, like, completion, but it's a thing you can do. I, uh, will probably draw the line there. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Then again, I'm probably going to draw the line at the fifth Pantheon, because I don't think I'll be able to do that either. If I manage to unlock it, I'll try it, but I'm not expecting much. Look out! I'm not Puno. You're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. Here are the rules. Take this guy out. But if he sees you at all, you lose. Well, I think I lose now because I'm like a couple feet away. All right, what's the invisibility button? Not that. Hey, where'd he go? Pretty straightforward. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh. It's funny. Okay, maybe it's not actually funny. Uh, let me get my thing here. Oh, I can turn in cobwebs too. Because you have to turn the cobwebs into cards so that you can use the cards to get other things. It, it's so weird. Why? Why is that the system? Isn't that what I was trying? Oh, okay. I didn't realize I had the thing still equipped. Now that I don't really need the levels, but whatever. Okay, are we gonna ever get to frickin' Mia's level? Because I would probably like to do that before the video is over. Now that I've spent my entire day, uh determining that, in fact, yes. uh, the word was not Paladin. <laughs> Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha 9 invited me down to his secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thornbush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Yeah, well, he'll just have to manage. Oh, we got more distractions. What? What's wrong? Hey, Elton. Have you heard anything else about that thing in the lake? Huh? Oh, not really. The fish are kind of going crazy about Bobby and Benny over there torturing anything that swims too close. Oh, somebody should do something. Yeah. Uh, hello. Well, I suppose I could go talk to them. I could. Or I could progress the game. I kind of want to just progress the game, honestly. If I uh, bump into them along the way, then I will uh, give them a what for. Oh, 
What are the chances that if I ask nicely, you two will stop messing with those poor fish? About as good as the chance that if you say one more freaking word to me about fish, the fire department's gonna have the jaws of life, my fist, out of your mouth! So wait, does that mean you will? I will punch you. <laughs> That's what that means. I am the hideous, hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. I can breathe air and love to eat the brains of little boys. This is just a good cutscene in general. Uh, okay. What, can I just not fucking come past you at all? Wow. Dude, why are you blocking me? Big deal. So can I. I don't remember this part of the game. Check it out, Admiral. I'm an oarsman, first class. Yeah, I see that card up there too. Like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. Okay, apparently I didn't need to get past him. Good care of her, sir. That lake isn't as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> now, don't take her out too far. Uh, okay. Oh, this looks about right. The first thing I gotta do in any situation is, whenever there's a stupid animation for something, I have to spam it. Okay, I'm done. Can I... can I help you? No, I don't think I can get out. Anyway, getting distracted yet again. Let's move on. Whoa. Disco time. This is a... oh, I don't have to... I can just hold it. Good to know. There she is. And there the fuck are, are these done. kids doing? Don't worry, I got in contact with your father and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh, gotta go. The race is starting. Lily! Oh, hey Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains! No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was gonna take them out, and... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Okay, Let's have fun with that. Tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! I liked my uh, method of moving the canoe better. The the rapidly moving my hand method. Dude, you have a horrible face. Oh man. These guys are all getting advanced levitation training while I'm just standing here. It's almost like I should do something about it. Agent Bodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know he noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! Okay, let's party. Okay, let's see if this place is quite as, uh, psychedelic as I remember it. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, not quite yet. Where are you? On TV, of course. It'll get there. Always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. In this game, levitation is just, you have a ball. Okay, what button is E? 
What button is E? Okay. Can I turn off my invisibility, please? There you go. Man, I'm gonna have to come up with a uh, definite like button mapping for all these different abilities because they keep changing themselves whenever I get a new one. Just making sure there's nothing down in the hole. Now for this last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. And you do that by just holding... Okay, it says oh, press left shift. Again, not sure. Okay, that's the lock-on button. Alright, fair enough. Why do I hear a thing tooting? Alright, that's just the warp thing. So, um, I remember a couple things about this level, um, which we'll be seeing. Come find me on the other side of the party, and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep As long as it's not the flying party from one of the Hitchhiker's books. That thing was fucking weird. Okay, so, as I was going to say, um, I remember a couple things about this level. Uh, one of them is very jarring. Um, we'll see that when we see that. The other thing is that this place is, uh, yeah, it's very colorful, and I like that. It's cool. It's visually interesting. The problem is, it makes it fucking impossible to see any of the, uh, figments, because they just blend in. Like, no matter, no matter what they're, like, in front of, they blend in. Because I just saw one floating by. I just collected one by accident. I didn't even see that one. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a, there's another one, I think. So, there there's a couple levels in this game where finding all the figments is particularly bad. Um, and I'd say this is definitely one of them. It's, uh... So far we've seen precisely one room of this place. It goes on for quite a while, and it eventually turns into a gigantic fucking racetrack. So... Anyway, I guess the uh, idea here is you go through all the hoops and you get them, so I'll just do that. You are the sugar in my bowl, darling. Patty is the sugar on my teeth. And try to stay rolling at all times. That is the theme of this party. So here's the thing, I'm, uh, concerned that I already missed a figment, because I'm pretty sure there was one around here that I didn't collect, and I would never know, because you can't see. Okay, whatever, there's just some on these flowers, I guess. We'll worry about it if it becomes an issue. Oh, didn't see that butterfly. This is like a completionist nightmare, I swear to god. I love this level. It's lo it's really cool. I love the disco theme of it, but my god, is it bad with the figments. Can't have a party without spinning rings. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down, but it will let you down nice and slow. All right, what's going on over here? Hey, wanna dance? Hey, sure. We're all dancing. I suppose I should get on the ball also. Thanks, but no thanks, Raz. Who the hell are you? Are you a dream person or? Will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby. Yeah, I think. Oh, suddenly luggage. Anyway, nobody's saying anything interesting here, so I'll just destroy a couch, or not. Can I set the couch on fire, though? Uh, surprisingly, yes.
Uh, I'm enjoying this dance here. What do you call that move? Anyway. The non-spinning rings are ruining the party. I can't have that. Is a real important issue, apparently. Come on, let's take it a little higher now. I wasn't sure how far into this level I was gonna play before I stop, because uh, I kind of started it like 40 minutes in. Jump into it and float and see what it takes you. Alrighty. Man, I keep forgetting these controls. And I don't know why. They're not that complicated. I have a really hard time adapting to controls, I find. It's especially fun when I... Uh... Okay, hold on, there's a figment over here. Oh, shit. Is that the part I think it is? Remember when I said there's a part that's really jarring? That might actually be it. Um... I thought that was further into the level, but uh, let's 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 go find out. We, we should end on that part because it's uh, it's something wonderful to behold. Now why would you want to come in here? Come on, this room's no fun. Let's leave, baby. Uh, okay. Let's... I, I, I'm gonna hold off on the vault. Can I do something with this? Well... Yeah, I'm just going to kind of let the game speak for itself here. Alright, let's, uh, let's leave. So, what the fuck was that all about? And then they all died. So yeah, <laughs> like I said, very jarring. I uh, I think we're gonna, just going to kind of end on that one. Now, I do like the idea behind this, though. It's uh, really interesting that they'd include something like that, because the idea behind this character is like, I'm going to put on this facade of like, oh, I'm all about partying, totally carefree, but also I've got this really fucking tragic memory that I'm keeping locked up. And, uh, the way that the game kind of, like, symbolizes the mental state of the characters in these worlds is just, it, I think it's, I think it's cool how they do that. Because, uh, it's like, we've, we, we've got it all trapped up into this little place where it doesn't interfere with anything else. Which, uh, I don't know if that's necessarily entirely healthy, but, um, I guess if she knows what she's doing, then fair enough. So... Now that I've uh, failed yet again to make that jump, because I keep forgetting what is the correct trigger, I think I'm going to just use that as an excuse to stop here, and next time we will have a party and we will ignore all of the tragic things in the world.